Yo right, guys, I'm Kai and this is a tutorial on the lache. So for the first part of this tutorial, we're going to work on generating power from a swing. That's going to make it a lot easier for you to make it to the next bar when you actually go for the lache itself. So to do this, you're going to start with a little bit of swing and then as you come back, you're going to kick your heels out behind you lift your hips forwards as you start to swing forwards and push your feet out and try and push your feet out as high as you can. At the same time, your arm's gonna bend slightly and then you're gonna push out straight and you're gonna get up to that kind of horizontal position as you're pushing out forwards. And then as you start to swing back, you're gonna wait as your feet come back and then as you pass the bottom point, you're gonna start to drive your heels up behind you and that'll help give you even more power on the backswing. A really important thing to think about is what you're doing with your arms. You wanna make sure that you're not staying with bent arms already as you're swinging back, so you're just using that pull of your arms to help get you up and then straight away you're pushing your arms out straight, keeping your arms locked and your shoulders nice and relaxed. So in the demonstration, I'm kicking out quite high because I'm really used to the technique, um, but you don't have to kick out that high, you just have to get used to that power of kicking. So if to begin with, you can only push out to a kind of 45 degree angle, you can't get up to 90 degrees. Don't worry about that in time, you'll like learn where the power is and where the strength is, and you'll be able to get it up and much stronger. Um, just really think about working the core, like lifting in the hips and kicking out forwards before you're pressing out straight, and that'll make it a lot easier for you to get up there to make it more powerful. So an important thing to think about when you're swinging on the bar itself, so after you've done that first initial kick and you start to swing backwards, as you get to the peak of your back swing, you want to readjust your hand position again, ready for the next swing. If you stay and just kind of try and keep your hands rotating on the bar, you're gonna rip your calluses, but also you're gonna lose grip on the bar to the point where you might peel out and you don't wanna hurt yourself, so don't do that. Another important point is the head position. So you wanna make sure that you're not pulling your head forwards and you're not pulling your head back either. The head the whole time should be in between your arms, locked nice and straight. If you pull your head back like this, it's gonna curve your spine and it's gonna make it a lot less powerful. And the same if you pull your head forward like this, you're not gonna have like a visual position of where you're gonna go and it's gonna make it a lot more difficult when you come through the lache itself. So for the second step, we're actually gonna do the lache itself. If this is the first time you've ever done a lache before, then I'd really recommend doing it either over a soft surface or have someone spotting you who knows how to spot because it can be dangerous if you peel off the bar backwards and you're not coming backwards in this position here. There's not much you can do to break your fall and if it's on hard ground, you're gonna really hurt yourself. So when you approach the lache, you wanna think about it in two different parts. One is the kick that's gonna get your body to travel that distance. And the second part is the throw, throwing the bar behind you, which is gonna get your upper body to match the same speed as your lower body, which is gonna help you to get to the bar. So for the first step on the lache itself, you're actually gonna do the same swing technique as before. So you're gonna push out forwards, you're gonna start swinging backwards. So then as you finish the back swing, you'll start to swing forwards again. You're gonna lift your eye line up, looking for the bar. As you get underneath the bar, your head's gonna be pointing straight at it, so you won't need to bend your head back. Now we come to the release itself. The release is the most important bit um, because this is what's gonna dictate uh, how your body follows where your feet and your hips are going. So you have to consider the fact you're in a pendulum motion at this point, so your feet are traveling a lot faster than your hips and your shoulders and your head. Um, so because of that, as you release, if you were to just let go, you're gonna end up going into a flip and you obviously don't want that to happen because you're gonna smash your head on the floor. So to compensate for that, as your feet are traveling forwards, you need to get your shoulders to follow the same speed. So to do that, you're gonna throw the bar behind you. So when you're throwing the bar behind you, there's two techniques. Personally, the technique I think works the best is if you do a two point release. So it's not both hands together, but one to the other. That allows you to spread it across a longer distance and it'll make it a lot safer. first is to not focus on getting to the second bar but rather getting used to that release so don't do too big of a swing at the beginning and get used to throwing your body and getting your chest to pass over your feet as soon as you get more and more used to that it's gonna make the lache a lot easier as well watch as I'm releasing that I'm not bending my arms to release I'm still staying completely straight but then I'm throwing with the shoulders to get the bar behind me and to pull my chest forward So when it comes 
comes to catching the bar, it's going to be a lot harder to catch the bar if you grab it completely stretched arms to begin with. It's going to be a lot easier if you catch it with slightly bent arms, then as you grab the bar, you're going to let them flex and lower your body into it. At the same time, it's going to be a lot harder again if you catch it at your chest. To take that force out is gonna be really difficult. So you kinda of wanna catch with your arms in a relaxed position with a little bit of bend, and that way it helps you to dissipate some of the force just in vertical momentum as well as catching it with a bit of swing as well. If you have any questions on the techniques, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Also make sure you subscribe to Storm and click that little bell button and you'll get a notification every time you upload a new video. And check out the link in the description down below to the Storm shop where you can buy merch like this and help to support us make more videos like this. I'll see you next time, thanks.